It's back! My 10 gallon system, ready to brew, only for the second time. Want to see more? Stick around. Hello everyone and welcome back. Another brew day here. Uh, Brother Chad came back. Hello guys. And uh, this is brew number two on the 10 gallon system. All right. If you remember back in uh, October, many months back, we, we did an initial mm -hmm. overview video showing how I put all those pieces together and made my very first brew on this device, right? And uh, you know, it was a fun experience. We, le we learned a lot along the way. Uh, actually, now it's been so long, I kind of forgot some of those little details, unfortunately. Uh, and that was actually not entirely, well, it is kind of my fault, but what, what happened was is that I brewed on this system, uh, and as soon as I finished the system, brewed that batch of beer, the folks at the Grainfather sent me the Grainfather mm -hmm. to start using, and I've been using that all winter, right? right so, yeah. And had fun with that, too, but uh, people, I know some of you have been asking, Larry, get, get back to the 10-gallon to the system, and, uh, well, here we are today, brew number two. First one of 2018, right? Now there's been a few changes uh, over time. If you remember back in October, um, uh, some things have changed since then. For example, my logo on my shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look back at that video, I'm wearing my old logo. I got new garage flooring, which you can't see off camera. I'll put an overlay here showing some nice, some nice flooring I put in here. And, um, and oh, also in this video, I'm doing a few different things here. I have a 10 gallon batch of the Azaka Pale Ale that I'm brewing, that I brewed back in, I think it was March time frame when, when I did the small batch brew in the bag video, where I did the Azaka Pale Ale showing you how to do a stove top brew with a sous vide stick. That was fun. That beer turned out good, right? Yeah, yeah, right? it was pretty tasty. Yeah, so I figured, and so I figured I'd do that batch, but scaled up to, to, uh, to from like two gallons to uh, 10 gallons and uh, sort of show a, a little bit how to scale recipes. Some of you asked, well, do you have a five gallon version, a 10 gallon version? Folks, it's the same recipe. Uh, you just gotta scale it up. I did a video last year about how to adjust your recipe or someone else's recipe to match uh, a different size or, or to adapt it to your system. There's two videos, one about extract efficiency mm -hmm. and one about scaling recipes. Well, I've done both of that here for this system because I went from the grandfather Oh, I'm sorry, not the grandfather. It was that small batch sous vide stick brewing mm -hmm. system, which had its own efficiency and its own batch size of two gallons, right? And now we're going to 10 gallons on a completely different brew system. So I am using techniques from both those videos. So if you haven't seen those yet, go check those out, right? Yeah. And uh, so in addition to Chad today, we have another special guest coming later, the auction winner, Shane, from the charity auction that I did back in April. If you haven't seen that, uh, uh, those highlights on, on social media of those of that brew day go check out my Facebook page for example But he's coming here today. I'll get some video of him. Hopefully he's a little shy he didn't want to be recorded last time That's why there was no brew day video of that experience But uh, so we have him coming and we have another special guest Who's who's down on our feet down here? That's blue he's blue blue nose pit bull He's a little puppy, right? He's uh, uh, just babysitting. He's not mine. <laughs> so he'll be uh, loitering around the uh, the garage here with us today. So you might see him in, in some shots going forward, right? Yeah, maybe. All right. Uh, oh, and one more thing I'm doing. Uh, I, since I'm able to do 10-gallon systems, 10-gallon uh, batches on my 10-gallon system now, I can actually uh, do some experimentations, which I'll be doing today. I am brewing that Azaka Pale Ale. I'm doing, uh, I'm going to split it into two different carboys. Uh, I'm going to put one type of yeast in one. Was it a safe ale or saf ale? US05, the American ale, dry yeast in one. And then the other one I'm putting in the uh, the other equivalent English ale strain, the uh, the saf ale, 
Safe Ale uh, S04, I think it is. So I'm gonna have two beers out of this batch, two slightly different beers, same same grain bills, same same uh, same hop schedule, everything, just different yeast. And I'm gonna go to, 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 uh, to uh, compare them in a future video, I hope, right? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. hopefully to have you back again. And, yeah. uh, you I know. didn't know that. You didn't share that with me. So well, nice to know. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get on with it, shall we? Yeah, let's go. All right. story about the uh, 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 hey everybody look who arrived Shane is uh, Shane Cates he's our or was the auction winner back in April for the charity auction uh, brew day that I off, auctioned off he's here to pick up his beer hypervising the brew for him right so we all got samples here the uh, Chad one for Chad him and myself and uh, hey yeah. salute guys let's, let's uh, give it a taste and see what it's like that's hypervising that's hypervising it is very good <laughs> Mmm, man, it's uh, the the whole clove and banana aspect is really it's right freaky. there, you know. It's, like banana. Yeah, it does. And it's very light drinking too. I think it came out more banana-y than last time you made it, Larry. That's a word. Yeah, yeah. That's a word, banana. Yeah, well, banana. that's what we did. Um, <laughs> I, I I apologize to all of you who didn't see uh, or weren't able to watch a video of this brew day we did because we just didn't film the whole thing. But here is the outcome. It's a good beer. Um, what was the question? I don't even remember. <laughs> nah, I don't think there was a question. I don't think, I don't think there actually was a question. I just stated that oh. this is more tastes more banana-y than it, last time. It, it tastes a little different than last time. Well, I think so here's why. All right, so <laughs> that last time I brewed this beer, it was what on my old five-gallon system with the orange cooler in that mm -hmm. smaller pot that's yeah. over my head back here, right? Uh, that was the first time I did that. Now I took that recipe for for for, for his batch, and we decided to do it on the grain father. A little different. Yeah. It's a little different, so yeah. I had to restart. Basically, I took the same uh, grain bill and hops, but I had adapted for the recipe formulator that came with the grandfather. And then I realized, you know, I've never um, done a step mash before. So uh, since this was a hyphen bison, it benefits from a, a uh, well, I can't remember the name of the, of the step, but it's about 110 degrees you uh, step it at for a while to uh, pull out some more of the clove characteristics I've been reading. You know, I'm new with this too. And uh, it, it did, yeah. It, it's a it's a lot spicier, uh, I guess. Yes. Uh, spicy being the cloves and the banana and the phenolics or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's coming through. Esters, yeah, whatever, it's even. It's like a nice even flavor. It's I really like the banana. You yeah, can taste it all. So this was. The Than the, than the first batch. So. It's, not, it's not as watered down. It's got more flavor to it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was more of the yeast. But yeah. 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 So I, hey, you know, there is something to, to uh, step mashing. I, you know, my first time doing it, I never had the ability or the ease of ability of doing it before. The grandfather came along, so I said, why not? Let's give it a try. It turned out well. Now, I, now I got to figure out how, how to do it for, for my old gas system here, while we brew this next batch of beer. So, yeah. all right. Well, cheers, man. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Th thanks Thank for coming out. Beer. And thanks and, and, and thanks for sharing your beer with us because <laughs> yeah. you know it's his beer, right? So yeah. Yeah. all right, cheers. cheers. Cheers.
All right, guys, that was an awesome brew day. Let's get this mess cleaned up, huh?